world. In this um, live analysis, we'll be analyzing the market. And we'll, be, um, we'll be analyzing the market and see what to look for in, the, in this coming week in the market. Um, this is how we are going to run the show. Um, if you have any question you want to ask me for now or when I'm analyzing, um, you can you can send me through the chat of this Zoom app. You can use the chat app of this Zoom app. You can use the chat app. You can use the chat session. The chat session, you can just type to me. I will see what you type and I will reply. So I want you guys to um to to drop currencies that we should analyze. I'll be analyzing seven currencies, seven currencies. I'll be analyzing seven currencies. So I want you guys to drop currencies for me in the chat session. Drop currency for me in the chat session. So let's see. So drop currency in the chat session. Let's see how it works. Now someone said GPP AUD. So let's go with GPP AUD first. GPP AUD, GPP AUD. GPP AUD. Yeah, GPP pairs are very lovely. GPP AUD. Now um, let's make our chat blank. GPP AUD. Let's start with GPP AUD. We'll go through the rest as well. GPP AUD. Now the first thing is go to the daily time frame. Just see how things are working in the daily time frame. Wow. Virtually, with all we can see here in the daily time frame, we are in an uptrend. We are in an uptrend. Me looking at it, we can see we are in an uptrend. So, my guys, um, everything I'm going to be looking for on this pair will be a buy. Yes, will be a buy opportunity to buy. So, let me see. Yeah, yeah, this is a good one. So, we are in an uptrend. That's a good one. The first thing we look at the trend. Now, let's go to the four hours. Then, in an uptrend, we know what do we do in an uptrend? We buy. So for us to buy in the market, we need a support. A support must be created before the market could can buy. So let's see. Um, this is the four hours. Let's note some crazy areas. Yes, this is a crazy zone. Let's not know some zones that are very crazy in the structure. Okay. The price have created a high here. Okay. Price has pretty high. Now let's let's do this. So now, guys, without wasting our time, GPA UD is straightforward. Now, in on the daily time frame, we can see we are in we are we are on an overall upward trend. Now on the four hours time frame, right here, the price has straight a week. Um, this is one cause I've not really talked about to you guys. Now the price has created a week here. You can see this crazy long week on this four hour time frame. Now you can see the price has um has um covered this week, it has filled this week on this time frame. So the analysis here is very simple. What we are expecting here is very simple. What we are expecting here is very simple. Um so from here is that we have a breakthrough from here, and um we retest it again. We retest this zone again. Then from this zone, we can go upward. From this zone, we can go upward. Or we do this either way or we come back here. Then we do what? We go upward. It depends on what the market does or what the market is going to do. So, or we go back to this zone. So, anyway, any which way in a way, well, what you just have to do is just make sure you relax. You let the market decide for itself. You cannot decide for the market. So you do what? You wait. Is that we break this zone? Is that we break this zone? This zone has been holding this price. Now let's go to the one hour whether we can see any crazy reactions. Now on the one hour, this is the one hour time frame. Um, okay. As you can see, it's the same interpretation on the one hour. Is that we break through here? close back and see some rejections here, then we buy to this edge. This is where our TP will be, we are buying. Yes, we are going to feel this week again. We are going to feel this week. The price is going to come here for sure. That's a very good trade. Wow, GPAUD will be on my watch list. That's a good one, guys. 
Now let's take another one. The second one here is um, NZD card. Wow, that's my currency pair. I love NZD card. If you have been following my signals for the past week, you will have seen I've dropped a lot of signal on NZD card a lot. That currency pair has a lot of uh, momentum. So NZD card, NZD card. NZD card, so let me clear my tax. Let's go back to the daily time frame. Let's see what's happening. Just me looking at it, just look at it. Wow, on the daily time frame, we can see we are on a what? We are on a downward trend. Without even staring, we are in a downward trend. We are in a downward trend on the daily time frame. Wow. That's a very clear downward trend. Now, in a downward trend, what do we do? We sell. Now, for us to sell in the market, we need what? We need a resistance. So let's go to the four hours. Let's see any crazy zone or any interesting zone on this chart. Wow. Very good. Very good. Now, uh, guys, we can see um, the price presently at a crazy resistance zone. At a crazy resistance zone. Price presently at a resistance zone. Yes, we have. So let me just. We have these zones. Wow, you can see a lot of rejections on that zone. And we have this zone. We have two zones here now for the buy, for the for the sales, rather for the sales. We have two zones. So we have either this or this. Now the idea is very simple. Let's go to the one hour and see if there's any other rejections. Wow, good. We are reading the candlestick on this one hour. You can see what the price is doing. The price has never has not found its direction yet. So we have to wait. Now on this one hour, you have a lot of opportunity on this one hour. Uh, we have a lot of opportunity to help our buyers. Me, for me, I can put a resistance here. Now, for that, I won't enter this trade early. This trade early, I wait for price to break below here. If I'm going to sell, if I'm still going to sell this currency pair, I wait for price to break below. Then what? Retrace upward. Then um. Then we go what? We go for first take profits to be here to be this. First support, first take profit to be here, or if we are going to continue downward, we then we have what a break of this zone. We break this zone in case we are going to control the other side market. We move, um, then we retest this zone backward back again. Now, let me make it realistic. So um, then we we come back to what to our low. We come back. The market has created the low. So what NZD car will be doing majorly for us is that it's going to come or to test back this low. It's always going to come back to test this low. NZD car is a very good trade, guys. We'll be watching NZD car for this week. It's a very very good trade for us. Very very good trade, guys. If you can catch this trade, you are good for the week. So I'll be watching NZD card as well. Um. The next question, the next um, currency here is Euro AUD. It's the same ideology, support and resistance, breakout and retest. That's what we are using here. That's the main strategy we are using here. Euro AUD. Someone drop Euro AUD. Euro A. Euro AUD. This currency pair two has a lot of momentum. Euro AUD has a lot of momentum, and it's a one-way currency. It moves one way a lot. Yeah. So um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Wow. Euro AUD, we broke out from this um, consolidation, or what can we, can we call it? Then we are moving bullish. We are going bullish. Now we can see this is a clear uptrend. This is a very crazy upward movement. And we can see this bearish pin bar, these rejections. It can signify the law. You can see this bearish pin bar. Wow. Crazy one. So we have to be very careful on this pair. But we support and resistance breakout and retest. We can never go wrong. So let's just go to the four hours. Let's see what the market is interpreting. Uh, wow. Okay. This is the four hours time frame. Let's just mark the craziest, the crazy regions there. Let's mark the crazy regions. Um, so okay, we can see. Uh, yeah. Market has created a good support area here. Uh, we can from the daily time frame we can see we are in an uptrend, and now up in an uptrend we are looking for opportunity to buy. Now, so for us to buy this currency. The market is presently in a buy position for us. So this week in Euro AUD, I'll be looking for the market to retest this high. Very simple. I'll be looking for the price to go bullish for the market to retest this high. Please know that this analysis is not a confirmation for you to place a trade. Because once the market open, there are going to be a lot of reactions, a lot of crazy movements. We have to see how those movements 
and how the movement in market creates when the market open, how it favor us. If it goes in the direction of our analysis, we can look for a good position to take a trade, look at the settings, check if your sound is your phone sound is on. I hope the rest can get the audio. I hope others can get the audio. Please signify if you can get my audio because I'm also using the audio here and I'm can I can get the audio through my headset. So please, if you are getting the audio, just type yes in the chat section. Type yes. Now, you know you did the analysis is very simple. Now price is in an upward trend. So and you know the market moves just simple. The market moves. Wow, people are getting my audio. So audio, I work it to work on your so you can see the market is moving. So we have an upward trend retracement and price should go from here and break through. But I won't I won't analyze what I do, what has not happened yet. So that's what I expect from here. I expect a bullish movement. And you can see when we study the candlesticks, you can see the market close with a bullish pin. But though there's the market has lost momentum at that time, the market closed. So um the market has lost momentum at that time, the market closed, and um with the pullback back are not really is not really that strong. So from here, it depends on how the market open tonight by 11 p.m. or 10 p.m. Is by 11 p.m. if the market open. But what I can what I can see here is that Euro AUD is coming back to test this high. We are coming back to test this high. So if you are a crazy swing trader, um, let me give you an opportunity to to for a good trade. If you are a crazy swing trader, this is this is for you. If you are a swing trader, you know you are a purely you are purely swing trader. This stop loss, if you use 0 0.05 loss side, this stop loss will not be more than 10,000 Naira. And the take profit will be 1 ratio 3, that's like 20,000 Naira. You will hold the trade for the whole week and you are good to go. This is a good trade. This setup is very clean. It's very clean. This setup is very clean. Really, this setup is very, very clean. It's very, very clean, guys. It's very, very clean. And also, for if you are the type that you are a scalper like me, um, you can see the price are performing lower, lower, low, and lower high here. Okay, let's go to the one hour. We'll see what I'm trying to explain. If we go to the one hour here, now the price has been control Z. Okay, now the price has been forming something like a downward trend. You can see how the momentum is coming, but that does not signify down here. We have formed a double bottom. This is a significant this is a this signifies what a trend reversal that there is probability that this downward trend that is coming is going to change into an upward trend. So if you are a scalper. Then you can just do this. You can this is a, there's a strong there's a strong region here. You can wait for that closure. If the price there's one certain thing that is sure. If the price should come here, break this zone, then retest this zone again. Wow, that's a very good trade for us. I will be waiting for this trade. Then if this market could what retrace and what and retest this zone, there's no probability there. We are going to come to this high very fast. And our stop loss will be very very small this is a very good trade but we have to wait it takes a lot of patience trading is patience transfer of money from the impatience to the patient but as a trader you have to wait the craziest trade the most profitable trade you make as a trader is what are the trades that you wait for the trades that you wait for the trades that you feel like wow this trade is going to come here and do this and it does that then that's how the good trade you are going to take as a trader so let's go for Miro AUD um let's go to um the next one which is um gpp usd someone drop i'm expecting the rest of you please drop currency for us to analyze drop currencies in the chat session of this zoom app let's analyze together this is gpp usd gpp usd gpp usd guys um gpp usd gpp usd so drop currency ps use the chat session of this zoom chat check Use the chat session and what and um, use the chat session. Use the chat session of this zoom up, zoom up, and um, use the chat session of this zoom up. So, yeah, okay, people are already suggesting. Okay, okay, good one. Now, this is GBP USD, GBP USD. Let's go to the daily time frame. You don't have to do anything on daily time frame, just cool down, relax. Wow, this is the daily time frame. Wow, wow, crazy, crazy. Now you can see GBP um USD. This currency respects support and resistance a lot. One thing I want you to know: GBP USD, Euro USD, those major currency respect support and resistance a lot. Though they are main, they are affected by fundamentals a lot, but they respect support and resistance a lot. So when you are trading them, you have to understand. You have to understand that part. So um, let's see. Um, this is the daily time frame. Okay. And on a daily time frame, okay, we came here. Wow, a crazy movement down. This will be fundamental. This is crazy. 
then okay we are moving upward as well but we can uh, let's see let's go to the four hours let's see if there's any price action okay good good okay good nice one now when we look to the left gp usd if we look to the left you can see there's no really end there's no support and resistance at this zone so in my own uh, view in my own vgp usd uh okay let me go to the one hour let's see let's go to the one hour wow okay good now for my own view um the GBSD, the momentum is crazy i have a little uh the one hour time frame i have a, a zone here i have a zone here yes i have a zone here on the one hour now this is the one hour time frame you just have to relax now this one you have to create a you have to now you can see now let's use the let me use the fibonacci let me see if, the, if there's a retracement on the fibonacci um wow very very good now um this price level is 0 0.61 retracement wow 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 okay guys okay guys yeah we are good here gpusd we are very very good for a sell yes but you know the market is a two-way market so you have to relax wow 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 okay guys um from this level 0 0.61 retracement i believe gpusd should sell should sell and come back to this low but we cannot we cannot predict for the market. We cannot predict for the market. So we have to see what the market. Let's go back to the four hours. Let's go back to the four hours. Now, the market will open tonight. If the market open with a gap back to this zero point to this main line, and we can see a, any any price action confirmation, I will go on a swing trade on this. I will open a swing trade account for this trade, and I will go on a swing trade. Yes, I believe from here the GPSG should go sell, should sell. GPSG should sell. GPSG should sell, GPSG should sell, yes, this is a very, very good trade, guys, wow, this is a very, very good trade, though this will not happen in a GFE, it's going to take a lot of time, but as a swing trader or position trader, I would like to go short on this, if you risk 10,000 on this trade, you are, you have the, um, you have the opportunity to make 50,000 Naira in just, in just, in just, um, in just months or weeks, now, someone is asking me a question, that how do we enter trade? Now, in this class, we cannot talk about how do we enter trade because the market is presently closed. So if I'm telling you about how to enter trade, I'm just presuming on what is not real. You understand? So tomorrow, um, tomorrow I can I can do this class again tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow, whether like 2 p.m. Okay, let's do it 2 p.m. in the afternoon. We will do a live analysis in the current market situations and how you enter trade in the current market situations. Yes, I will do this for free, no problem. It doesn't stop me from making profit. It doesn't stop you as well from making profit. That's why Forest is good. It doesn't stop anybody from making profit. Now, so I cannot really tell you how to enter trades in this kind of market. market is already closed. You understand? There are a lot of things that happen point pleasant trade. It's different from one analyzing. There's different for you to analyze. There are people that cannot analyze and cannot trade. And there are people that can trade and cannot analyze. But there's no how you can even trade without be, being able to analyze, though. So, but there are people that can analyze but cannot trade. So, from here, I give BUSD, my bias is a sell, but I wait for it to close, to come higher, to touch this 0 0.618 level, which price level is 125319. From that, I can place a sell stop on that area. Yes, I can place a sell stop. Yeah, that would be good, a very good trade. I'll be watching GP USD, guys. I'll be watching this. I'm seeing a lot of setup this week. Wow, wow, wow. Someone posted EOGPY. Wow, that's my currency fear. EOGPY. Man, GPY peers are very, very good peers to trade, guys. GPY peers, you can put them in your watch list. GPY peers are very good peers to trade. GPY peers. Wow, this is a lot of shop. This is a lot of craziness happen, happening on GPY. GP, Euro GPY. So let's go to one day. Uh, one day, yeah. There's no magic, no magic. We are only repeating the same thing. Wow, you can see. Euro GPY, nothing spectacular. It does be weak, 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 weak. But it doesn't stop us from seeing an opportunity. From what I see here, the market self is in a downward trend. It's in a crazy downward trend. But let's go to the four hours. What do we see? Someone said, um, like what if it bounce? There's nothing like if it bounce in trading, my guy. There's nothing like if it bounce. In trading, you have to just put your entry. Spot your entry, spot your exit. So if it hits your stop loss, you are wrong. If it hits your take profit, you are right. There's nothing like you can be right in forest. Your analysis might be correct and still lose, and you can be wrong and still win. That's forest trading. Just about risk management. How you how you manage your risk. You understand? Some people will not. Be, some people will lose all their money in just one trade. Those are foolish traders. They are foolish. I've once been a foolish trader, and I don't ever want to be a foolish trader again. If you lost all your money on just one trade, 
you are a foolish trader, just take it like that. So a trade cannot make you rich, let me tell you the fact, no matter the loss size you lose, rich, rich is not about just getting money once in a time, it's about doing the segment, cultures of how, how, how um, you manage your risk, how much you lose on every trade is very, very, matters a lot. So that's what I do. Um, tomorrow I'll show you how I, how I enter trades by 2 p.m. tomorrow, we'll do this thing again tomorrow, 2 p.m. We still have 30 minutes, guys, so let's do Euro GPY ASAP. Okay, Euro GPY is up um, now. You know, GPY, this market is crazy, man. I'll be scalping on here. I don't see any opportunity for swing trading here. This market is crazy. You can see it's crazy. So I won't analyze this. Side. This guy will be good for scalping, not swing trading, man. See this kind of whole week. What is happening here is craziness, man. This is craziness. The market does not know what it's doing. So let's leave that. Um, okay, Euro USD. Wow, Euro USD. Euro USD, guys. Wow, this is good. Clean shot. These are currencies, man. You can know these are currencies of good, good nations. You can see how the fuck everything works. Everything is going well here in Euro USD. Euro USD. Let's go to the daily time frame. Daily time frame, guys. You know, there's no magic. Just go to the daily time frame. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? Um. Ah, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm not even, okay. Yeah. Price is presently at a crazy level. Wow. If you look from this left, yes. Yes, we have a resistance level there, but price does not show. Right now, if you are looking at these candles, under my market fluidity course, you understand what these candles mean. This candle is telling us that this price is not ready to turn back. It's not yet ready. If it's ready, we still need a lot of bearish closure on this candle. For this candle. So, my guy, for this candle, I will never take a sell. But let's go, to, I will never take a sell on this kind of candles. You can see the low, it's creating higher eyes and high, it's creating arm. Um, higher highs and higher lows. The candles are creating higher highs and no higher lows. So this, this is telling us that this is a complete bullish trade, bullish um, market. The bulls are in this market like mad. They are not even ready to go out, man. They are not ready. Don't let us try them. Don't try the bulls. If you try the bulls, man, hmm. don't try the bulls. This is a bull market. Don't try the bulls, man. So let's see. On the one hour, we can see. Uh -huh. Wow, fuck. Now, on the one hour as well, you can see. This market is not even ready to give up for the BS. So right now we are in a zone on the one hour. It depends on what happens on the one hour, my guys. It depends. Now, for me to enter a trade on Euro USD, I'll wait for this price level. I'll wait for this price level. For a sell, for me to take a sell, I'll wait for this price level to be broken, this support. Once this support is broken, I know there's nothing that's going to stop Euro USD from coming back here. There's nothing that's going to stop it from coming back here. But once this level is not broken, then my guy I cannot say anything on this trade unless if I will make another resistance here for a buy. If I'm going to enter a buy, let's say I'm eager to enter a buy. If a retracement should come back here, eh, then I can enter a buy. Or if this this zone is broken, retested, I can enter a sell back to this zone. It just depends on how the market reacts. But right now on Euro USD, I'll wait for what the market will do tomorrow. Tomorrow by New York London session or New York session. I will have seen what the market is ready to do on this zone. But right now, this is a bull market and all opportunity here, everything I'm seeing here is not for the sellers. So we are not ready to enter a sell on this trade. So let's take another currency. USD CHF. USD CHF. Wow. USD CHF. USD CHF. I have to be fast. We have just like 15 minutes left. So I have to be fast. Um, USDCHF. I've done how many? Okay, USDCHF. USDCHF. So, after this will be the last currency I'm going to do. No, okay, I will not do USD again. Let me take another currency. AUD USD. No, let me take card JPY. I've done a lot of USD. Pay. Let me do card JPY. Card JPY. Card JPY. Card JPY. Wow, fuck. I'm not taking card JPY. This is craziness here. Let's go. Uh, let me take. Uh, NZD JPY, no, no, no. Um, NZD USD, okay, let's take NZD USD. No, NZD USD, okay. Okay, AUD card, let's take AUD card, let's take AUD card. Let's take AUD card. Wow, AUD card. This is the daily time frame. Price is presently in a downward trend. Wow, wow, something just happened right now. I've saw something on this trade. Wow, the bears are ready to enter this market, man. The bears are ready, the bears are ready. So, I've seen something here. Wow, let me explain what I saw. Now, fresh, fresh, fresh. Let's remove all the indicators. Um, 
Okay. Let me explain what I saw here. Oh, yeah. Okay, now, um, the price, this was a, this was, was our previous support. The price held the support here, but price, um, trade upward, broke the support. Now, price create a low. This is our low. When I say price create a low, that means price went lower. So, price create a low. Then, from this low, price retrace upward back to this, to, to make this broken support our resistance. Now, price came back to that resistance again. Wow! We got our confirmation, guys. We got our confirmation. This is a, this is ready for a sell, man. AED, AED card is a bear market, man. It's a bear market, so we are moving. My stop loss should be here, man. It should be here. Though it depends on how the market opens. So TP1 will be here, TP2 will be here, TP3 will be here. It depends on what kind of trader you are. So this is this is a sell. My bias here is a sell. The market is we can have um the market is this as the market should work, should come downward. So let's go to the one hour in case because the market may open anyhow. So in case you are not able to enter the trade at this level, if the market just fall down, then we can enter at this level. There's a there's a zone here. We can enter at this level. We can enter here. We can enter at this level. If the price break this level, the trust, we can sell. We can sell to this level to this level here yeah. so it depends on what the market does guys it depends you don't have to force any trade the main key in the market is three things the trend okay what is the trend the trend is downward then if the trend is downward you are looking for a sell opportunity then for us to sell in the market you need a resistance see there's no how cosibi market she must sell there's no how the market will sell without creating a resistance there's no how the market will sell without creating a resistance there's no how there's no how the market will sell without creating a resistance. There's no how the market will sell without creating a resistance. So you have to know, for you to sell any currency pair, you have to see a resistance. A resistance must be formed. The market will form a resistance, you understand? If you are a scalper, I would advise you to use the 30 minute or 15 minute time frame, 30 minute or one hour time frame, depending on what type of scalper, you know, scalpers have, you can see. The market will surely create what? Now here, yeah, if the price should fall below this place, close below this level, we are surely coming down to this level. I need the price to close below this level. We are surely come back. We are coming back to this level. That's just the ideology in the market. Wow, people are really joining this this live stream. I really appreciate. Now I'm going to entertain questions from you guys, from the rest of you. I'm going to entertain questions. So um, I will unmute everybody, but I will not unmute everybody. So please send the questions. Send your question in the chat session. Send your questions. Okay, someone say I should analyze gold. Okay. Let me analyze gold. Let me analyze gold. Gold, 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 gold. Send your question, guys. Send your question. Someone says I should analyze gold. I don't really trade. Wow, wow, wow. There's nothing on gold. Gold is just playing with it, with his, with, with our feelings. Gold is just playing with our feelings. Now, this is the daily time frame. Wow. You can see this is a support here. Price expected it now. Let's go. Gold is a crazy currency, so I won't expect you to uh, analyze gold on four hours. I won't uh, expect you to analyze gold on four hours. Because ordinary 15 minutes can blow your $10,000 account, so... Be humble. God will humble you. Um, okay, okay, guys. Um, so please send your questions. Send your questions in the chat sessions. I will read it through. Fuck. Okay. Now, um, from what God, you know, uh, everybody used to say God is a safe haven. So God is always bullish. So God is always bullish. But from what I can see here, uh, for the last trial last week, God didn't really make any move. God was just creating. Um, um, issue in the market now um there's a chart pattern that is called bullish flag F bullish flag right bullish flag so probably uh gold is trying to create a bullish flag but you cannot assume in the market that's one thing i don't do in the market now so so that i will not be assuming i will do something for you guys now so that you will not be assuming so we won't, we won't assume on gold now let's let's keep good let's go know we are present now yeah let's keep good this is our resistance. This is our support. No cap. If the price should break below here, we sell. If it break above, we buy. That's just the ideology. That's just the ideology. If the price should break, um, okay, okay. Now. That is the ideology on gold. If the price break above here, the text, we buy. 
And in gold, you have to be very considerate because the returns in gold are very fast. Because the uh, momentum on gold is is crazy, so you have to be you have to be very very crazy on gold. I don't really trade gold, me. So um, I don't really trade gold like that. So I understand currency pairs I trade, like USD, JPY, GBP, GPY. Without even calculating, I already know my risk. So okay, wow, fuck. So that's just the idea. Um, this is good for you guys. This is what goat will do. He would either do either of the two. So is either it's come back here or it's go back here. So there's no any there it's come back to this eye. So either of the two. You don't have to force anything. We have to wait for broke to break this channel. You can see this is not market. This is not trading. The goat is just giving his traders headache here. He doesn't know what to do because of the lot of um uh, what's it called? Um, fundamentals going crazy, coronavirus and all. You can see that we're creating idiots that we make making full of everyone from this range. So we have to leave that range, let it break from that range and it takes. You see, someone is asking me how many P dollar is one pips in gold. I, mean, I did not know that. Oh, if you want to know, use your um. Forest calculator, that's the easiest way. That's the best thing to ask that question. You use your forest calculator, ask him, he will tell you. Forest calculator is easy to download on Google Play and App Store. So, like someone said, so like you have always been saying, we should not expect a trade to last for a particular moment. I don't get that. I don't get okay. What I used to say is like we are, what we are trading in the forest, we are trading, and what we are trading all about is what is affecting a whole economy and a whole country. So, if you are trading, you cannot, it depends on what time frame you are trading, really. You cannot be trading four hours time frame and expect your buy to be buys in 10 hours or one hour or a day. No, you cannot tell me that. You understand? You might be lucky and you buy on four hours time frame, then you went straight time for into profit. But you should have prepared your mind. It depends on the hours you are trading. If you are trading on 30 minutes, you should have expect to hold your trade for. Six hours, seven hours. I won't lie to you. Yes, yes, that's consolidation on gold. Yes, presently we can say it's consolidation. Yes, someone said, Can we call this for the yes? This range is called range. This range and consolidation is a consolidation on gold. Yes, so we have to wait for it to break out and retest. We have to wait for it to break, to break out and retest. Someone said I shall last nice hundred and V's. That's one thing you don't get under me. I'm not I'm a forest currency trader. I don't trade and uh, what's it called? NAS, VIX, because they don't have stop loss. And me, I deal with stop loss only. Sure you understand. NAS, hundred and VIX are for profitable traders. Traders that already made money and are ready to take any risk. But you are trading fifty dollar and hundred dollar, they will use your money to pay us. You understand? So it's about it depends on you. Go and ask your mentors that have been there before. They are coming back to currencies because there are a lot of this management on currency. Sure you understand like that. So it depends on what type of trader you are. You know, I used to say that a lot. Depends. So don't just follow the crowd. Know what works for you in trading. Know what works for you. I'm really liking loving this class. I think I will create another Zoom class. I will create another one. So we'll ask ourselves questions tonight. I'm loving this question session. The way you're asking me questions. Analyze AUD JPY. Wow, ah, my time is fast spent. Um, we have less than okay. We still have seven minutes. Okay, let's go. Let's go. AUD JPY, right? AUD JPY, AUD JPY, AUD JPY, four hours daily. Now, AUD JPY, okay. I'm not seeing anything really here. Downtrend, blah blah blah. Okay, um, AUD JPY, crazy. Now, one hour, let's go to one hour. Let me see if there's any clearer picture. Okay, for, okay, okay, guys. Okay, guys. Um, we got our resistance here. The most important thing we got our resistance. So um, let's let's relax. What's happening now? From here, price have been in an uptrend. Now, so price should come here, up here. Price should reach here. Price should touch here. Price must come to this zone. It says now either it reject this zone or breakthrough. It, it depends on what the price does. So, but from what I'm expecting, price should come here. Price should um, price should come here. Then it depends on price football from what price I've been doing from here. I believe price should sell off. Okay, price should sell off. From here, price should sell off. You understand? But we cannot decide for the market, but I believe this is what should happen. So you understand from my 
from my experience i believe the price should come back to this zone because if it want to sell it need a resistance so we'll come back from this zone and if it want to buy it need a support so if it want to buy it will break this support this resistance make it a support you understand so that's just the easy thing the market will do we are running out of time guys we are running out of time wow 44 people on my live stream i really appreciate guys i really appreciate this guys i really appreciate i really appreciate this guys 44 people 44 men on my on my live stream wow 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 so what other questions what other questions guys our time is fast spent can you please show us how to set your indicator how to set your indicator of stop loss and take profit on TD view? Okay, uh, this is just it. Just come. This is it. This is the app. This is the app that indicates it. Just come here. Just press short. Once you press it, wow, that's good. So just go to where you want to trade and adjust it to where you want to put your stop loss. No big deal there now. Just set it. Put your take profit. You just adjust it. This is the app. This is the sign there. Let me try and circle it. This is the sign there. This is it. Let me put an arrow then. This is the software. This is the software. Um, this is the software here. Yeah. This is the software here. Yeah. This is the software. Now your trading view. Yes, trading view. Your support and resistance are zones, not exact number. Ah, wow. Can the balogun? This is what most of you are missing. Support and resistance is never is never a price level. Never. Support and resistance is never a price level, guys. No matter who have told you that support and resistance is a price level, never. Support and resistance is never a price level. It's a zone. Now let me let me explain what I'm saying to you. Now look at this is AUD JPY. See see where the price is rejected from here. It's rejected from what six seven seven three one. Now price rejected from what here from six seven five four six. Price rejected here from six seven seven three one. Price rejected here from six seven six ninety. You can see that it is not an exact price. It's not an exact price. So price. Is not an exact price. So the support and exact support and resistance is not an exact price. It, uh, it is a zone, it's a region. In that region, price will find um a, an edge and reverse. Support and resistance is not is, is not a price. So you can just indicate a price level in there that okay, oh, okay. Let me just put this, let me set the sell stop at this price level. You understand? What is the best time frame to trade? It depends on you. If you are, a, it depends on what type of trader you are. It depends on what type of trader you are. If you are a swing trader, you can use the four hours or daily. If you are, if you are a day trader, one hour, four hours and thirty minutes. If you are a scalper, one hour, thirty minutes, fifteen minutes or five minutes, depend on how you take it. And if you are, if you are a crazy trader, do what you like. You understand? Do you, I, I don't use indicator. You can see my chart are clean. I use pure price actions and support and resistance. Price action, support and resistance, and market fluidity. I read candles. I understand what candles are saying. I read candles. Then next, next, our class is almost on. Our class is almost off. Next question. Next question. I think I've answered on. All answer all your questions. I don't use indicators. Just normal price actions, guys. Price. That is the best thing you can use. If you are wiser than indicator now. Indicator are man made now. Someone made them, not the market. I hope you love it, guys. Thank you so 